Now, I challenge you, ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you, explain this to me. Every time there was a major piece of gun legislation, or I should say anti-gun legislation, anti-Second Amendment legislation, anti-Bill of Rights legislation, introduced in Congress, either in the Senate or in the House, some nut walked into McDonald's or onto a schoolyard or into a shopping center and killed a whole bunch of people. Explain that to me. Explain that timing to me. Can you? Now, what do you think the odds are that just as the omnibus counterterrorism bill was introduced in Congress and didn't have any support, somebody would blow up a federal building in Oklahoma City? Explain that to me, if you can. You see, it's beyond absurd anymore. They've pulled these little tricks just one too many for anybody to be believing it anymore. Yes, we need to be asking an awful lot of questions. Apathy, ignorance, stupidity, lack of courage, or an innate weakness. Another such cloud of darkness is hanging over America and its once free people. And at this very moment is becoming denser and darker day by day. There are those who are becoming conscious of this danger and are sounding a warning. Being well aware that if this process of degeneration on the one hand and control on the other is permitted to fully develop, there is little hope of America becoming the last hope of man's freedom until after the ending of Armageddon and then only with the beginning of reconstruction by those who have become the, quote, selected, unquote, as a result of their freedom through the process of individualization. God gave to those who would inhabit the land known as America and to those who are Americans in fact and spirit a great promise. But it was based upon a proviso that this America shall be the home of the truly free, but to obtain that freedom and the benefits of the promise, men must prove their worth. Men must prove their worth. The eternal quest for freedom is not, is not a political affair. It is basically spiritual because it primarily concerns the well-being of the immortal soul, the spiritual being indwelling within man, but unable to attain its highest estate while the mind is entangled in darkness and confusion and the body enslaved. 